WGPR Detroit HD2. You're watching WHPS, Highland Park, Detroit. The views and opinions expressed on the following show are not necessarily the views and opinions of WHPS, its affiliates, management, or sponsors. Theo Broughton. And I am the BDM Pina. Inviting you to join us each Monday at 9 a.m. for Feedback. A positive image production by Hood Research. Encourage others to tune in each Monday on Comcast Detroit, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, watch WHPR TV Network anywhere. And take us along with you. Feedback. 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 At the studios of WHPR, WHPS, red and yellow, beautiful flowers. So April showers did their thing. <laughs> All right. And I'd like to say happy Monday to uh, Rosa, to Vera, uh, to Miss Farmer. We got to tell her happy Monday. And um, to uh, Harry and, and Al and Carl, uh, Katrina and Mark and and I don't know, um, we haven't heard from Michael Griggs in a while. Hmm, wonder what's going on with him. And David, we had a new caller that had joined us. Uh, some uh, folks you want to say hey to? Well, I'd like to first and foremost uh, shout-outs to Brother R.J. Watkins for providing this platform, to Brother uh, Henry Tyler, H.T., for being a... Uh, engineer extraordinaire for brother Tammy Tim who holds it down for us for brother Flip who comes on uh, later on uh, in the engineering seat sisters mm -hmm. Renee Faith and uh, Michelle Cunningham so I want to give them shout outs and all the staff at WHPR and then some of our regular people just want to say shout out to uh, sister Jackie sister Ruth uh, sister Cheryl D uh, Brother Shane, uh, Sheila Raglan, and uh, I always ask you two things. First, I hold up my pen and paper because I take notes also. Mm -hmm. uh, you have things to say, and I want to remember them. And I would ask you to ask your family, friends, neighbors, coworkers, church members, uh, people that you have casual relationships with to tune in and write down the numbers at the bottom of the screen. Absolutely. And I have to uh, add... Tijuana and Tijuana, uh, Bill and Don also uh, in that. And you know, I want to let you know that uh, Hood Research is having a luncheon this Saturday, and you're invited. If you have a need for transportation, I need you to call 313-971-7225. Make that known that you need transportation. The luncheon is this uh, Saturday. We will be gathering at 2, and uh, the luncheon starts at 3 o'clock. And uh, we just want you to know that it's on uh, West Seven Mile in Evergreen at the dedicated senior center, a location where you can feel safe and enjoy yourself. And also, for those of you who know and have known uh, Fast Freddy over the years can be a just reunion for you and Fast Freddy. But that's this coming Saturday. That is May the 9th. And phone number again? I'm sorry, that's not May the 9th. That's the wrong day. Saturday is May the 7th. The 7th of May, this coming Saturday. We'll be gathering at 2 p.m. If you need a ride, also known as transportation, the telephone number to call is 313-971-7225. 971-7225. This coming Saturday, we're going to have a, a lunch and learn about the dedicated senior center. All right. Happy Monday to everybody. 
this Monday or this past weekend was just Oh, what's a good word? Uh, adorable. <laughs> That's not a good word for a weekend. <laughs> yes, indeed. But it was very enjoyable, I must say that. You're tuned in to Feedback, a positive image production by Hood Research. My name is Theo Broder, co-founder of Hood Research, and my co-host is... Yeah, Mark Cummings, we hear Feedback. That's right. And uh, I'm so glad that you all have tuned in this morning. We are expecting guests, and you know, on this show, it's either feast or famine, so we, we will be ha having some guests. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, I want to say happy Monday to uh, Katrina and Carl and Al and Henry and, and to uh, Eleni and to uh, Ashley and to Joyce and to Carl and David, and there are just so many uh, uh, people that I, I uh, met this past weekend, to Dennis, as a matter of fact. And um, is something you want to say uh, good morning to? Oh, my goodness. Good morning to everybody out there, all my Howard people and Delta people, and uh, just all that love HBCUs across the board. And, Mm -hmm. Business owners out there and hood research members, a lot of love to everybody. That's and right. uh, it's been quite a weekend and happy Mother's Day belated to everybody. Mm -hmm. We missed you, but it was a good thing to see you this morning. Yes. The uh, senior, uh, dedicated senior center luncheon was so delicious. Yes, oh, indeed. My I enjoyed it thoroughly. And you know, like I was saying, I'm not a potato salad person, <laughs> but that potato salad was fantastic. Anyway, I wish you had been with us. And you know, the research uh, members had been saying, oh, got cabin fever, I, I just gotta do something, gotta go somewhere, gotta be somewhere. Gotta. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> so we had a light lunch this past Saturday. Got a chance to tour the uh, dedicated senior center. Got a chance, uh, for those who have known Fast Freddy for the years, a reunion with somebody they'd known for so long. And he was sharp as usual. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then after we ate lunch, he says, okay, we got to exercise. You know you need to exercise after you eat. Mm -hmm. He said, Move your feet, but don't get out of your seat. He had everything rhyming. It was just so <laughs> cool. We, we really had a great time. Yeah, and you know, it's important because um, we have Fast Freddie down, Brother Calvin Bird from the dedicated Senior Medical Center. And uh -huh. I'm telling you one thing, it's about your health, people. Mm -hmm. And that's why we want you guys to call and schedule that tour. Mm -hmm. It's free. Come on down, see what's going on there. That particular location we had to function at, well, that was Seven Mile at Evergreen right there. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was packed house. People were there. The seniors were there. They wanted to see what this was about, mm -hmm. becoming a part of what's going on, because they knew in the area, but they care about your health. It's a new way of looking at health care, folks. They offer an Eastern medicine, Western medicine. You got acupuncture. Right. You got Fast Freddy teaching. You got Cherry Oki. They got so much going mm -hmm. on. It's incredible, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll run another spot for the piece later on in the show. Right. But it's like, get in touch with Calvin uh -huh. Bird. 313-498-5359, 313-498-5359, and schedule that tour because you missed out if you didn't make it on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there was a lady who says, well, I want to come and ask, okay, you, you need um, transportation. She says, I I live across the street. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? And so, so she came and she enjoyed herself. Mm -hmm. That was a beautiful it was a, thing. Oh, yeah. It was and, and I love it. It's been, really it was nice. quite a weekend. Quite yeah. a weekend mm -hmm. indeed. A oh, lot going yeah. on. Yeah. For sure. Right, right. And I was surprised on Sunday uh, because uh, my granddaughter, whom I talk to regularly, had not been to the house, and she popped up. I'm like, oh, my goodness, I haven't <laughs> seen you in so long, even though I talk to her all the time. Right, you know? exactly. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's a so good thing. So that was a nice visit, and and my daughter and I had uh, 
Uh, we had coffee and, and donuts. Don't tell anybody coffee and donuts. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I enjoyed that. Then we had a phone conversation with uh, one of her grandbabies who was in Florida with his parents. And, mm -hmm. of course, they were at the beach in the sun, on the sand. I'm like, oh, my God. And he's almost two, right? <laughs> <laughs> so he hanging out on the beach yeah, already. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> oh, man. Once so, you get used to that lifestyle, it's over. <laughs> uh -huh. And one of those FaceTime calls, I'm like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, it was really nice, a nice Sunday. And I hope that all of you enjoyed your weekend and your Mother's Day Sunday as well. Mm -hmm. Indeed. You know, we uh, have such wonderful things going on. Then all of a sudden, you have this issue in Grand Rapids where the uh, white police officer shoots an unarmed black man in the back of the head. And, and we've had people who have uh, gone up and I think Al Sharpton has gone there and people want to say that um, he is um, uh, taking advantage of a situation, but he doesn't go unless the family invites him to go, which the, and that is what he did. Then after you hear those kinds of reports, then you start hearing, well, I don't know why you all are always on that because there's more black-on-black -black crime. Uh, yes, there's black-on-black -black crime, and that's something that we wish to change mm -hmm. and reduce and reduce as much and as far as we can. And some of the lyrics in this gangster music that is um, oh motivating and encouraging people to go out and kill up folk and spray the block and, and all of that, which means just shoot indiscriminately. But then... What they don't talk about is white on white crime. <laughs> that's the illusion. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about white on white crime. There is far more white on white crime on this planet, on this planet, than anywhere else. Example. That's what wars are. <laughs> hey, the, the Nazis wanted to get rid of the Polish people. They just want to eradicate all of Poland and all of the Polish people. Then you hear Hitler talking about, oh, the ideal man has blonde hair and blue eyes. Hitler didn't have blonde hair nor blue eyes. He didn't even bleach his hair to pretend. I'm like, is that crazy or what? So now listen, if the blonde hair, blue eyed men had really caught on with that, they would have just gotten rid of Hitler and moved on. But in the meantime, today we had Putin. Is he like Pookie? Oh, <laughs> anyway, yes. in Russia. And he is trying to eradicate all of the people in Ukraine. Ukraine is made up of white people. Putin in Russia is white people and that's army the Russian army is white people the folks in Ukraine fighting back are white people therefore <laughs> you got to know and put this in your conversation at the barber shop or beauty shop there are more white on white crimes than anywhere on the planet anywhere on the planet. More white on white crime. And don't you forget it. Well. Don't let the propaganda make us feel ashamed. Oh, we, we, we got all this black on black crime. Yeah, we do. We do. Well, you know, the biggest thing to me, Miss Grodin, is, is just all of these various, yeah. uh, shall we say, what? The divisions, okay. Yeah. That's what really keeps us angry at one another. Mm -hmm. and, and my thing is, you know, how you the black women had the tag of being angry black women. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like, all black folks got a reason to be angry. Let's just be honest about <laughs> that. <laughs> they do. All the foolishness we got to deal with, this racism and all the rest of this stuff. Uh -huh. But it's got to be a constructive anger. Mm -hmm. And when you get divided, 
it becomes a destructive anger. Mm -hmm. So you turn your anger on the wrong people, mm -hmm. the wrong ideas. Mm -hmm. I mean, we got this anger between black men and black women. We gonna have to fix this, folks. Okay. I know this big social media guy just passed away over the weekend named Kevin Samuels, and he mm -hmm. had this idea that, you know, the, most of the black women who did call in, they were looking for this so-called myth of this high-value man, a black man making six figures and that can support his whole family and all of this. And all the women wanted that. No, we want that guy. Where is he at? Let's just be honest, sisters. We know that racism has marginalized this entire race. Mm -hmm. Okay, we all struggling financially. It ain't no plethora of black men running around making six figures. Mm -hmm. It ain't even a plethora of sisters making six figures. And even though we talk about all these black women with degrees and things, mm -hmm. most of them degrees ain't translating to a whole heck of a lot of money. Mm -hmm. We still like, they say, this ain't just black folks. They say 78% of Americans can't get their hands on $1,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that only leave about 22% of us that, got enough money to tread water. Okay, let's just be real about this. We got to understand, we're not going to get to reparations if we're going to be fighting about who got the money and is the black man and divesting from one another and all this old foolishness we didn't cooked up to make a reason why one gender is better than the other and the darker skin and the lighter skin. We got so many divisions, it ain't even funny. And all of this was caused because racism stirred it up. And we're not recognizing that that's the problem. And mm -hmm. it's broken. And that's why I say you got to join organizations that put you in a position to love your people. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. That's what the research is about. Mm -hmm. That's what that event on Saturday was about. We care <laughs> oh, about our people. We care yes, about your health. Yes. That's what writing letters to the Grammy committee is about. Uh -huh. We're concerned about what your ears are consuming. Yeah. This is what you got to get involved. So people, I will say this every time, join hood research. Ms. Mm -hmm. Broke been doing this is 30 years mm -hmm. this year. We're going to have a 30-year anniversary party coming up soon. We're trying to put it together now. That's mm -hmm. going to be big. Mm -hmm. Get involved with a group that's getting it done out here. We're trying to pull all these groups. We got a lot of groups that's a part of our group yeah. that we collaborate with. So that's what it's about. We got to care. Mm -hmm. We can get past all this black-on-black -black crime. We won't have to talk about that if we understood that we in this together. Mm -hmm. You know, people hurting it. I got a brother I'm going to have on, I'm going to call him. I'm going down to Baltimore in a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. meet with this brother, wrote a book called The Marginalized Voice about the young men and how their voice has been marginalized. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get a principal on here that was, he's a principal over there at a alternative school in Southfield. Mm -hmm. And I want to have him down to talk about that. Because, you know, most of the time you think alternative kids, you think they're all bad and, you know, they're pretty much they're heading down a path, you know, that's not going to be good. But we need to talk about this because the reason most kids end up in alternative schools is because they didn't have the guidance to begin with. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So, Ms. Broden, I'm like black on black crime, white on white crime. To me, get your head together. I know. You won't even be involved with no crime. I agree with that. Racism is the real crime. And Oh, definitely. And, and you know, that's one reason why we have adopted a school. Yes. And we're, we're uh, doing things at the school with the uh, excitement and blessings of the principal, who she is just, just a really uh, a genuine person. Mm -hmm. You know, when you think that in the morning when the children come to school, mm -hmm. She is not sitting with her feet up drinking coffee somewhere. <laughs> that principal is at the front door. All right. Now, that's what we talk about. When those children come through that door, she is there, and she's telling them positive things, you know. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Uh, we're going to have a good day today. and I, I'm so glad that you are here. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, wh whatever positive, you know, affirmations, et cetera. But she talks to all of those students as they come through the front door. She does that personally. Mm -hmm. I've been there when she has done it. That's right. Now, what school and, is this? Oh, Barton Elementary School. All right. Mm -hmm. And Barton is over and, there on Joy in Ohio. Yes. And, and then uh, in, in the afternoon and during lunch, she goes into the lunchroom and just, 
she's she's a um what do you call a hands on mm -hmm. hands on person and um she's concerned uh a, about the progress of the students so much so that we are recruiting uh tutors mm -hmm. okay. and uh we're we're asking that they uh give a week uh two days that's all just mm -hmm. an hour twice a week mm -hmm. okay of their time to help the uh, children with their reading oh, okay. as as you remember the uh, uh, state and the prisons of course mm -hmm. are watching oh, yeah. Yeah. and when a child gets to third grade if they cannot read then the prisoners they're licking their chops <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. Yes, they're going to be here with us. Mm -hmm. And they're going to fill these thousand beds that we have on our contract. Mm -hmm. And you know. Hey, look forward to that. I mean, not, not caring about mm -hmm. whether the children learn to read or not. Not, not saying we should have more programs mm -hmm. for them to be tutored in reading. Oh, no. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. It's just something about that love of reading, Miss Broden. Mm -hmm. It keeps you away from all this foolishness on the TV. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I don't really watch that lot of TV. You know, mm -hmm. I do the social media thing, but mm -hmm. I like to sit down sometime at night, mm -hmm. read a book, get three good hours in. You burn through about 90 pages in mm -hmm. three hours. You can read a book in no time if you just uh -huh. sit up and put your mind into it. Mm -hmm. And that's why reading is so important. So, you yeah, know, I read cool. Invisible Man over again the other, the, the last oh. week just because I felt like it. Uh -huh. You know, I felt like, you know, we, we get still getting treated like invisible people. Hey, and that's the truth. <laughs> well, you know, uh, the most recent uh, publication that, that I read was uh, uh, Michelle Obama's book. Okay, all right. Becoming. But so far, my favorite book, this book was written in uh, it was 1851, I think, oh my goodness. by Harriet Beecher Stowe. Ah, uh, we the know that one. The name of the book is <laughs> Uncle Tom's Cabin. Oh, my goodness. People, you need to read Harriet Beecher Stowe. That's the writer, mm -hmm. Uncle Tom's Cabin. And you'll find that uh, Uncle Tom and the term was a part of the propaganda to make people use that as a negative, mm. when actually Uncle Tom was a very wonderful individual. Mm -hmm. He was always looking out for people. As a matter of fact, he saved a child's life. This Intelligent plantation brother, owner's mm -hmm. daughter mm -hmm. fell over, fell over the, the side of the ship. He jumped in and saved the child. Which is, you he know, didn't, he didn't have to. He he, <laughs> right. he he wasn't with them for any reason. He could have just stood there and, and watched the flop around mm -hmm. in the water. Look at that, <laughs> you know. But he jumped in and saved this little child. And then, of course, you know, slavery was. Um, legal at that time and and the little girl told her father that uh he had to take this man home with them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like what yeah. <laughs> you know now the man just saved his child's life and he and he's standing there it's kind of befuddled and all of this right and so because <laughs> he probably don't think a black man could do something like that yeah right <laughs> right so he he um um, you know, related, and and he told his daughter, okay, so he he got Tom and he took him to their plantation, and um, he became uh, very valuable there mm -hmm. on the on the plantation. Mm -hmm. He looked out for the daughter, and the daughter taught him how to read. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. uh, Tom was was a very uh, a resourceful. Uh, individual, mm -hmm. and uh, we over the decades and centuries uh, from that book have been taught that oh he wasn't you know he wasn't about nothing, yeah, and if yeah. you and Uncle Tom you ain't <clears throat> fill in the blank. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> but that, that novel was so good, and even when uh, she met Abraham Lincoln, he says oh. 
So you're the little lady that started all of right. this. <laughs> Making um, black folks look human. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> and she knew so many uh, high-profile people. Oh, Timmy Tim said we're coming up against it. We had two done. minutes. Oh, dear. So we got to mm -mm. about to go to the break here. So take us uh, to a break, Miss B. All right. Well, you are here listening to some wonderful stuff, as I say, mm -hmm. right here on Feedback. A Positive Image Production by Hood Research. Stay tuned. Call somebody. Tell them to tune in. And we will be back momentarily. That's right. You're watching Detroit's own WHPR-TV. Detroit Live. This is Theo Broden from Feedback. You can watch me 24 hours a day, seven days a week at WHPR TV Now app. Download our free app at WHPR TV Now. Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern. It's the V's Nuts Show with your host Butter and friends. Butter here, magician escape artist, practicing for my show tonight. Come on in, have a seat. Seconds. You gotta be enough to get out of this one. Twist a little turn, cut It's showtime. It's your old friend Butter here. I may be a nut, but I know to wear my mask. Please welcome my first guest tonight, fitness guru Wally Lama. I wouldn't warm it here to tell you to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds so you will stay healthy and strong like me. Mom and Cruz here, sliding in with the news. Distance is what we must do to stay away from the la, 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 chin and other germs in the air that might be trying to get on you. Social distancing is a wonderful way to see friends. As long as you're six feet apart, you win. Hey there, friends. I wouldn't miss this for the world. It's me, Pumpkin Spice, your healthy girl. Remember, it's important to use your kind hearts and follow the signs to stay healthy and safe at all times. Chica Chimitsky here to say, don't forget the little ones that need you to lead the way. That's how we remember to wash our hands, mask, and social distance today. Morgan Raisin. Yes, it's me. Here to sing about health and safety. We are all here to help get a message out to your grapevine, teaching healthy choices to stay safe all the time. Don't let these guys drive you nuts. Put your mask on first, they'll let you be. And it keeps me safe from the la, 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 that's trying to get on me. Butter me up, she's right, you know. Thank you, Hallie Cranberry, for joining the show. Let's all be nuts about our health. Social distancing, wash your hands frequently, use hand sanitizer, and wear a mask. Practice what we learn to stay away from the ha-ha-ha-chew germ. We're all in this together. Coming soon, the many adventures of these nuts in a theater near you. I've always been a runner, but I've never run from anything, and neither has my city. Do you want to be a Detroit police officer? Sir, yes, sir! Ah! Amen! It's something special to protect the people closest to you. The ones you've known all your life. Your neighbors, your friends. I was born in this city, and I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. That's why I wear the shield. Justice for Mario Willis. Truth, facts, evidence, matter. Log into justiceformariowillis.com. Read for yourself. Muscles, joints, or feet tired, achy, or distressed? Tried everything? Ringmaster Rubbing Oil is a vintage topical pain reliever, trusted for over 70 years, with a rich formula for the treatment of stubborn aches and pains. 
packaged in a glass bottle for purity. Our liquid can also be used in warm water for foot soaks and compresses. A little goes a long way. Try our time-tested formula, available in several sizes. Make a donation to WHBR-TV and receive two two two-ounce bottles of Ringmaster Rubbing Oil for $25. Call 313-868-6612. Hi, this is Theo Broughton. And I am the BDM Pina. Inviting you to join us each Monday at 9 a.m. for Feedback. A positive image production by Hood Research. Encourage others to tune in each Monday on... Comcast Detroit, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, watch WHBR TV Network anywhere. And take us along with you. Feedback, feedback, feedback. I like seeing that. All you have to do is go to the App Store and uh, download WHPR, is it, on demand, or TV 33 on demand. What is it, Tim? Tim, help, help it, us. It's that. That's what WHPR it is. TV 33 on That's demand. That's right, on demand. That's right. And uh, put it right in your phone, and as they say, and take us along with you. Indeed. Thank you so much for staying tuned this morning. And our guest is here with us. We got the queen. There, there you go. Queen Shumayim is yeah, in the building. Mm-hmm. Board yes. member here in Highland Park. And, of course, all around lover of people. Mm-hmm. Her organization mm-hmm. gets things done in all the right. city. And you just had yes. an event here on Saturday. I, oh. Yes, we did. Big we event. Talk to, to the people. Sunrise, what did you everybody. have? So this Saturday we had our... Uh, annual Mama's Day Bazaar. And what we do is is that we usually invite uh, women entrepreneurs to come out and um, sell their wares, provide their services. But we hold it the day before Mother's Day. It was from noon to eight. We Mm. had music, a beautiful DJ, uh, DJ She Rocks. We had food. We also uh, debuted our uh, pop-up for our wine and tea shop. It's spelled W-H-I-N-E, wine and tea shop. Yeah. And so we have some events. We can talk about them later on in the show, like the different things that we got going on wow. um, there. But anyway, we did a pop-up, and we had a wonderful turnout, um, a workshop for the children to make gifts for the mamas. Ooh, yeah. And so it was just a oh, good time. Oh, now that was neat. Yeah. Yes, it was a good, and the weather was so beautiful, too. Oh, yes, it oh, was. Oh, my God, it was so oh, beautiful. So we, had a, we, we just had a good time wow. celebrating mom. Mm. Now, I have a question already. Yes. What was your question? You had a question? Well, just for the listeners out there in the viewing audience, where is the location of Queen Shoes Palace over there? All uh-huh. right. So, Mark, do you want me to talk about my other things, too? Of course. Just, talk. We're going to talk right. about everything. Great, great. Okay, then. So, um, we're located on Avalon Street between Avalon and 2nd Avenue, mm-hmm. and I'm the founder and CEO of Avalon Village mm-hmm. uh, here in Highland Park, mm-hmm. and it's a project that is basically, um, we just uh, basically transformed a a blighted block to beauty, mm. you know, mm. from blight to beauty. That's right. And we mm. also are uh, an eco village in the making. So mm-hmm. we do, uh, we build from shipping containers, like the store, the Goddess Marketplace that I was telling you about, that we had the event that's inside of a shipping mm. container. Mm-hmm. It's ran by solar. Uh, and then also we have geothermal heating and cooling in our homework house that we mm. have for the children. We just got our certificate of occupancy mm. for that. Um, so we'll be having um, after school programming September 2022. Too, but we're located um the actual address is 24 avalon that's the big house that is the office right. you can't miss it right off what we're yep. there you'll see jacoby rock park right there on the side of the house there and then the house the big house on the corner yep and that's, that's where we are and that's where so we got the whole block but basically um we uh, uh, cleaned up the whole block. It took about eight years to clean it up. And mm. um, then I started buying the properties, and we're about at 45 properties right now. Mm. We own about 95% mm-hmm. of the block between Woodward and Second, mm-hmm. and then also a couple of other uh, properties on the second block as well. Mm-hmm. Some lots, and ju- we're just building wonderful things for the community oh. uh, on the block, and we're doing it with the green infrastructure. Mm. Some of the things that we have right here, and I'm gonna leave them here with you. We have a calendar that we have, uh, and it's all of our events all the way up until December 2022. Oh, wow. So we have a lot of different things coming up. Uh, right now, uh, the Goddess Marketplace, for instance, uh, we extended the hours, we opened up the marketplace season which starts May and it ends in October 
So what, what? it's eleven. It's, it's Thursdays uh, from eleven to seven. Friday eleven to seven, and then also Saturdays from ten a.m. to eight p.m. And then uh, on Saturdays we invite women entrepreneurs to come through, um, and we're inviting thirteen. We want consistent. Um, 13 women businesses that mm -hmm. are like from that want to commit to three to four Saturdays mm -hmm. per month. So every so Saturday is going on. Every Saturday, the women entrepreneurs are yeah. going on, period. The mm -hmm. store is open on Thursdays and Fridays as well. But that's the day that the women can come out, pop their tents and uh, put their tables out and basically sell their wares. Mm -hmm. There is a seasonal uh, fee from May to um October and it's a thousand dollars, which is basically fifty dollars per Saturday to vend. Mm -hmm. Only fifty dollars to vend, mm -hmm. and that's from ten to eight p.m. Mm -hmm. And then if you decide you just want to pop up and say like you can't commit to the three Saturdays or four Saturdays, right. you can pop up for sixty five dollars um, a weekend and just say hey, I know I can do it twice a right. week, and you can do it that way. So we have that going on. Then also we have the wine and tea shop uh, too, where you'll be able to uh, purchase beautiful for wine and tea baskets. Mm -hmm. We have all types of wine um, related gift items mm -hmm. that are just so you wonderful. You ladies know you like the wine. Yes, <laughs> yes. We have the, uh, what do you call it, the charcuterie uh, trays. Oh, with right, the, with the right. Cheese with the cheese, we have a sister cracker, there who right. actually makes those as a small business and oh. she also rents out a space and she has that for um, you know, for people to just be able to purchase, to have with the wine, and just that's just a good thing. And the coolest thing that we just added because we po opened the shop was uh, it's called the Wine and Wangs on Wednesday. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Know, okay. Wine and Wangs on Wednesday. A little bit of chicken and a little yes. wine. But all and kinds wings. of chicken. It's buffalo, buffalo. Wine, wine and waves. And waves. <laughs> oh, wind. wine and chicken waves. Oh Lord, wine and waves on Wednesday. Mm, okay. And so we do that on Wednesdays, the first and the third Wednesdays, mm -hmm. and basically uh, that's from five to eight. So look, anybody that come out of here, look, Mark, come, come on right on. Yeah, you know, five I'm to eight. Third, I'm five. off on a Wednesday, the third Wednesday of the month. Third Wednesday and the first Wednesday of every month. And then we'll also have live music ah. on those uh, evenings as well, just sitting, chilling. And mm. the shops will be open on Wednesday too. Not normally, mm. but if we have any event that we have, whether it be reggae in the hood, that's August the mm -hmm. 17th, whether it's, um, you know, just different fireworks, we always pop open the businesses. Oh, mm. no doubt. No, Tim, run that tagline okay. with the phone number so people can see them numbers. To call in, because we want them to call in and speak with Miss Broughton <laughs> in Queen Shoe, Highland Park. Y'all know this is your right. first sister, and she getting it done out there. That's right. My goodness, I, I the have wine a and tea shop. Okay. I, yes, I, the wine and tea shop. Um, is is that your your shop? It is. Yes. It's a converted. Uh, Basically, we popped it up up under a tent because this was like the debut of it. The marketplace oh. season opened yesterday, but uh -huh. it is going to be inside of a 20-foot sh uh, shipping container that is the Goddess Marketplace is already outfitted, and it has... Um, you know, just everything in it already. Mm. And so now we're working on that, but we do have solar in both. Mm. So the cool thing about the shops oh, is, so is that nice. there's solar uh, energy uh, mm -hmm. and we don't, you know, no electricity. Right, mm. well, I'm looking for peach tea. Mm. You know, that's why I asked if it oh, was yeah. your shop. I believe Are you familiar with peach tea? Yes, yes. I said I want some peach tea. We, go, we had to give Miss B some peach tea we in do. here. I gotta and, bring you uh, some. <laughs> <laughs> we we definitely gonna yeah, get it dude. done. Oh man, it and, is so good. And, and see now the phone calls popping up because you know they want to talk. Yeah, with the queen. She All right. Done. Let's see what we got here. All right. On the line. Happy Monday. You on feedback this morning, Theo Brown Queen Shoe? How are we doing? Got so flagged on Silverado. Hey, hey, happy Monday. All right, I want this young lady's, uh, what's the email, what's the website, what's the phone <laughs> Sweet. number? Sweet. So, so the telephone number is area code 567-525-8170. And you can okay. call us uh, and, you know, just be able to chat and everything. And then the, the email is uh, right now at shoe at the Avalon Village dot org. All right, spell it out for everybody. Okay, so the, T-H-E. Uh, Avalon, A V A L O N, and then Village, V I L L 
A G E dot org O R G. So it's SHU S H U at the Avalon Village dot org. Our number again is area code five six seven five two five eight one seven zero. And then also we're on Facebook, we're also on Instagram, and we're on Twitter as well. And I got these new young folks. They done got me on TikTok. <laughs> so you're doing the videos. We're doing the videos and stuff. Yeah. Uh-oh. So that's something new that just. Uh oh. Hmm. Are you on Facebook as Avalon Village or shoot? We're on fa- we're on Facebook as uh, Avalon Village. Okay. And Instagram as Avalon Village. And I do have um, my own Instagram page as Mama Shoe. That's the um, public image page, mm-hmm. whatever that they started. Mm-hmm. And that, that's that's our resident poet, Miss Sylvia. Mama Shoe. Hello, Hello Miss Sylvia. And you know, Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know you Sylvia. Got the wings and the chicken. <laughs> oh, oh my god we're gonna have so much fun and, and the first one is on the 18th that's the third wednesday so we'll have some music out there dj she rocks will be back beautiful music playing and just chilling poetry uh, we're also going to do some karaoke too on those days so it's just we're just gonna have some fun for uh three hours on wednesday oh wow Sweet. and that's that on the 18th Yes, and first what, and third Wednesdays. Yep. And at what time? Okay, and that's <laughs> the on time. Twenty-four Avalon off of Woodward. Yep. Yes. Well, you can't miss it. Either. And the t- and the time. The time is um, five to eight. Yep, it's five to eight. And there's also for this event, there's a ten dollar cover, but you get two glasses of wine, Ooh. and you also get unlimited wings. Oh, I'll have to show up for that. A ten dollar cover for two. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're gonna do some jerk. Uh, we got jerk wings. Oh, I got all kinds of stuff set up. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Uh oh, folks, that's a no brainer. That's yeah. you're supposed to be yeah. packing that in with about at least a thousand people. There. Roll yeah. up, just roll up and come and sit down and just chill and listen to the music and enjoy mm. the ambience enjoy the beautiful vibrations that we've created there in Avalon Village. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. You're going to have welcome. open mic? Yes, all of that. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get the hood right. research resident poet down yeah, there. That's right. Open it up. That's, that's right. That's right. That's I'm so. loving it. I'll continue to listen. Mm-hmm. Thank you, oh, Sylvia. Okay. All that love. Yeah, yeah. All right. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> That That's sounds it. so good. That ain't nothing but love. And uh, mm. I'm telling you folks, get down there. Because I'm telling you, Queen Shoe, you, you putting the Highland Park back on the map for good reason. <laughs> okay, mm. we didn't have enough problem with the water and the oh, school yes. and the rest of that stuff. You And, 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 uh. and folks, let me let you guys know. This sister is also involved with the politics in Highland Park. You are also a board, school board member. Well, yes. Actually, I'm the president of the Board of Education here in Highland Park. Oh, okay. Yes. And uh, actually, this is my um, fourth year. Mm. This is my fourth year, so we'll have to rerun if I decide in uh, July to go and go do another four years. And Uh right now, we got some wonderful things that are going on right now. We're um, exploring, building, rebuilding a high school here in Highland Park. We want to educate our children. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, things are... um, we're working on things, but I believe that at the same time, you can also build, mm-hmm. and so you can at least start planting the seeds That's and right. getting ready. So we don't we don't have any final decisions of where it's going to be mm-hmm. um, and all of that, but we are bringing it back, and I think it's important to at least bring the energy and get it started, That's right. and then the planning, all of that's going to take some time. So nothing is overnight, so it won't be anything that's going to happen in um 2023 Mm -hmm. or anything like that it's just as long we're working on Mm -hmm. it and so we're inviting also uh the community um our chairman of the of of the uh, high school committee and it's a committee that uh people are invited to to come Mm -hmm. and come and listen to what we're talking about Mm -hmm. and also to have input we have many stakeholders and we have the uh children we have parents and everything to basically let us know what you want to see Mm -hmm. in a high school we're building fresh from you know from the ground up we can have anything that we uh want basically and so we're bringing that back a lot of parents want us to bring a high school uh, back and that's part of our uh educational Mm -hmm. plan Mm -hmm. back in 2018 when we Mm -hmm. voted it was to bring a high school mm-hmm. back to Highland Park. And so we're just working on it. We're starting to work on it, and it's exciting. And really, Are you in, in charge of the library? I'm not in charge of the library. Okay. See, in the city of Detroit, the school board is in charge of the library. 
they appoint all of the members of the library commission. Mm, okay. okay. And that's why, you know, I asked that question. I have been to the library in Highland Park. I know it's closed now, but it is the most beautiful. Yes, mm. it oh, is. Oh, my Lord. Beautiful library, the architectural structure. Mm. Mm. And, and, you know, Ms. Mm. Brown, I just mm. like to say, mm. to be on the ground level, this is your chance to be a part of something that's going to last a lifetime. A yeah. brand new school. Right. Rarely do you get in on the on the front end of that. Because right. usually these schools are already here, and then you got to figure out what you're going to do from there. So yeah. they're going to get right. in, and, you know, you got to talk about the architecture, the that school, the capacity of the school. All of right. this stuff is going to be dealt with. What the curriculum is about. Curriculum, is it exactly. Be STEM? Is it going to be for the creative arts? Is it going to be, you know, just mm, all of those exactly. things that we uh, are going to explore? So we're really glad about that. Mm -hmm. Those meetings are held on the 4th um, Tuesday mm -hmm. of every month. Okay. So to where the, the uh, public can actually... Um, you know, join in on the muse uh, on the um, where, where are they here? The plan. Well, right now they're virtual. Oh, and, right. yes, oh. they're virtual and oh, everything okay. still. Yep, and so they're able right. to come. Yeah. And then we're going to do town halls as well to invite when we get closer and closer. You know, just get more and more input. But like I said, we're just in the beginning stages right now. Mm -hmm. Our chairperson, his name is Anthony Askew, okay. who is a member of the. Um, Board of Education. So he's the chairperson of the high school uh, committee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I, my um, uh, concern, I guess, that I've been working on this year is uh, civics mm -hmm. and curb appeal, of course, but civics. In, in the uh, public yeah. schools, it seems that they have tried to roll it into social studies or roll it into history of Something that's dumb. Mm -hmm. Civics is extremely important because if you, you have parents who don't understand civics, you won't understand civics. You always hear, well, it starts at home. This starts at home. Well, how can it start at home when many of the homes are dysfunctional? Mm -hmm. And a child is a captive audience from 8 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And they can include civics. That tells you your rights and your responsibilities. If you live in any municipality with one other person, you still have rights and a responsibility. And the government has rights and responsibilities. And you need to learn those. But these school systems that don't want to teach, and when you don't, and the young people don't understand, they'll start to drive, get their license, and park somewhere they shouldn't. Uh, do, just do dumb. Park on the front lawn. I mean, <laughs> oh, God. Just dumb One of the shit, things that you know? in, in the homework house, and which is a house we just finished, uh, actually we just got our certificate of occupancy, and I've been building on the house for five years. Mm -hmm. And so finally, we're able to open up in September. But uh, it also has geothermal heating and cooling. It has a solar roof. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, basically a, a flat that was on the demo list. Mm -hmm. And we just gutted it all out, did some big fundraising back in 2016 mm -hmm. to initiate it. So every time I got a chunk of money or whatever from a grant or something, mm -hmm. you know, that I just we just put it in there. Sometimes it wasn't six months and nothing was happening because we didn't have the uh, the funds to do so. But every time we got something, we put it towards it and we, we finally finished it. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned that because it is for after school programming, but it's for other programming on Saturdays mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all of that. And so civics is one of the things that we will have showing the children how they are able to uplift their neighborhoods and work in their own cities. Mm -hmm. Some of the things that they can do. And That's they do right. need to learn that early. Oh, they need yes, to learn that early. Lord. So they need to know what is a mayor's job they need to know mm -hmm. what is a city council's uh, job how do you how do you impact uh your community mm -hmm. um as well and, and learning right. those things and you're right they do need to learn that yes. early they need to because there's a lot of work to do in the neighborhoods mm -hmm. and so like a lot of children they come they do uh, programs and they get uh, community service hours. I have mm -hmm. eighth graders coming over to get their community service in before uh -huh. they graduate. Mm -hmm. uh, high schoolers come in. We also have um, an Avalon Village um, work uh, program where we're now um, getting six to eight uh, 
We're getting ready to start recruiting for six to eight workers to come, and they're going to learn all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. They help with the uh, landscaping. They help with watering the plants. They help with small jobs on how to fix things. We teach them this for eight weeks, and they actually get paid. So I'm excited about uh, our summer program coming up, and it, 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 it happens as soon as they get out of school. Mm. So, yeah, the civics, just anything, how to cook, how to, uh, you know, just run a household, how to mm. uh, fix things. You have to learn the practical things, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm just kind of old school with certain things that the children really need to know mm. those kind of things. Right, They right. need to have order. They need to learn oh, things yes. in order, you yes. know. And so that's what the homework house is about, just oh, helping to great. restore that. Also children whose gas and lights are cut off or water or anything, they're mm. able to come there. We have three showers. One of them is handicap accessible. We have a handicap room ramp so they're able to get in and enjoy everything uh, the house has three floors and we're also mm -hmm. um, working on getting uh, the license in the basement and the second floor for daycare so we'll have daycare uh, in the, the homework house too it's called every child is a genius and it's going to be in the basement yes yeah, and so right. it's beautiful um, we just wait we got to do a couple of things before that can take off some some bit, very simple things but mm -hmm. yeah we're going to get that done too well, that's a wonderful and, and I'm glad that you talk about teaching the young ones civics because I think that it, it should be in three sections the elementary school mm -hmm. level on their level then the uh, what do they call it now middle school you just call mm -hmm. it junior high, on their level and then high school on their level I mean, that's wonderful oh man you know I just Somebody want to say who this understands to huh? all the folks out there in Highland Park get on them phone lines because I'm telling you Queen, you've been doing a lot of work for a long time. Mm -hmm. I've been knowing this sister almost over a decade now. Wow. She's been getting it done. Yeah. Getting it working. And she's yes. been recognized nationally and internationally mm -hmm. for the work she's done. I know Ellen gave you a grant. Mm -hmm. You've been on CNN. You've been all over the place, <laughs> worldwide. Yeah. yeah, that is kind of funny how that happened, <laughs> just cleaning up your lot in your house and <laughs> backyard and your own thing. But I know one of the things is that um, – I'm a citizen of Highland Park. I was born in Highland Park, raised in Detroit, mm -hmm. but here uh, came and started doing business here in Highland Park and, um, you know, got our family home. And the thing about it is, is that we just wanted to just do something to help mm -hmm. the city, just do our part as a citizen. Basically, that's really what it was like. OK, I think I can just go ahead and clean up this block. <laughs> Don't know how long it's going to take, but I want to build a village over here. And it was terribly blighted at the time, but mm -hmm. basically doing our part and hopefully it becomes infectious, you know. And, mm -hmm. and so that folks can actually see, oh, I can do that. Mm -hmm. And um, the blight makes you feel sometimes uh, overwhelmed and hopeless. And so if you just clean up just one lot or something, mm -hmm. and if everybody did that, you know, um, we know how things are financially. And I know that, you know, we pay taxes and all of that, but um, there's only so much that I'm going to look at and tolerate, exactly. you know, as a citizen. And so mm -hmm. I'm willing to um, help to work on some of those things myself and help enhance what it is that we have and things that, uh, you know, we don't have anymore to do uh, our small part in helping those things become a reality in our city because we deserve it. We do oh, deserve yeah, definitely. it. We deserve yeah. it. Mm -hmm. you putting up them solar lights was the beginning where everybody started seeing what was going on yeah dealing with solidarity which is also a national organization yes i've been trying to get shamika down here for three months i've talked to her <laughs> <laughs> i'm telling you folks we got so many people doing great work in the city mm -hmm. that's why whenever i get a chance i always say queen come on down fill in because i know you right down the street. Right down the street. R.J. Watkins yes, loves you. Yes. <laughs> yes, I love them too. This is like home, you know. Yes. Right, it's just right. so cool. And I just, it's so comfortable just sitting here mm -hmm. talking about, um, you know, what we're doing and how uh, we just want to help and how we are just, just basically lending a hand on one of the, uh, you know, what used to be one of the most blighted blocks right. uh, in Highland Park and show how we can just help to transform neighborhoods mm -hmm. and other neighborhoods and other blocks can be um, Beautiful as well. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. We're gonna have to hold you up for the other. I was gonna have Quasi a cool okay. over at the shed on for the second half, but I guess he let me know he can't make it down today. Okay. But he's having an event quickly. I just want to plug him for his event next Saturday. It's gonna be the Shed Appreciation Day, mm -hmm. 
And um, it's going to be from noon until about 4. And um, just come on down. I mean, he's got about two lots down there on the east side. And I'm telling you, it's real nice. Let me get this address. I'm trying to find it. Only I had it. 11530 Flanders. It's over in this city airport, folks. Yeah. Uh, you come down Connor, and you, you'll run into Flanders. And then you just make that right or left, whichever direction you're coming from. And uh, you'll see it. You can't miss it. Got a little shed right there. You got two lots. And uh, he's books, T-shirts. Yes. He does imprinting of your own shirts for you. You got some shirts. You want to got a business. You need some T-shirts. Take care. He took care of Miss Broton on some shirts. Took care of me for some of my Are You Tired of Racism shirts. He does great work. Been in the community a long time and doing great work. So that's what I'm saying. All these people, that's what I'm saying. People that get things done, they all connected. Yes. So they all know each other. Yep. They I've know been what's getting happening. stuff from him for years. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yes, I have. T-shirts, Broden. war oh, hangings, everything. Yep. Yep. Research, we show them the love. It's what it's all about. Right. Timmy, Tim, we coming up on the break. Hit us up so we can get on the second half and just close it out today. Beautiful right, show. For right. Carl Lynn, you see them yeah, numbers so up there. Oh, <laughs> man. It's just a lot of wonderful activity that's going on on Avalon Street. And, and so we're at the top of the hour. And I know you've had your coffee or orange juice or something. So call somebody. Tell them to tune in and find out what's going on on Avalon. You are tuned in to Feedback, a positive image production by Huda Research. <laughs> and we will be back momentarily. You're watching Detroit's own WHPR-TV. Detroit Live. Hi, this is Thabiti Pinda from the Feedback Program. You can watch me 24 hours a day, seven days a week on WHPR-TV Now app. Download our free app at WHPR-TV Now. Monday at 9 a.m. Eastern. It's the Bees Nut Show with your host Butter and Friends. Butter here, magician escape artist. Practicing for my show tonight. Come on in, have a seat. Seconds. You're gonna be enough to get out of this one. Twist a little turn, cut up. It's showtime. It's your old friend Butter here. I may be a nut, but I know to wear my mask. Please welcome my first guest tonight, fitness guru Wally Walmer. Our Wally Walmer here to tell you to wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds so you will stay healthy and strong like me. Almond Cruz here, sliding in with the news. Just this is what we must do to stay away from the la 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 chin and other germs in the air that might be trying to get on you. Social distancing is a wonderful way to see friends. As long as you're six feet apart, you win. Hey there, friends. I wouldn't miss this for the world. It's me, Pumpkin Spice, your healthy girl. Remember, it's important to use your kind hearts and follow the signs to stay healthy and safe at all times. Too good to miss be here to say. Don't forget the little ones that need you to lead the way. That's how we remember to wash our hands, mask, and social distance today. Morgan Raisin. Yes, it's me. Here to sing about health and safety. We are all here to help get a message out to your grapevine, teaching healthy choices to stay safe all the time. Don't let these guys drive you nuts. Put your mask on first, they'll let you be. And it keeps me safe la, from the la, la, chin that's trying to get on me. Butter me up, she's right, you know. Thank you, Hallie Cranberry, for joining the show. Let's all be nuts about our health. Social distancing, wash your hands frequently, use hand sanitizer, and wear a mask. Practice what we learn to stay away from the ha-ha-ha-chew ah, 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 We're all in this together. Coming soon, the many adventures of these nuts in a theater near you. I've always been a runner, but I've never run from anything, and neither has my city. Do you want to be a Detroit police officer? Sir, yes, sir! Ah! Amen! 
It's something special to protect the people closest to you. The ones you've known all your life. Your neighbors, your friends. I was born in this city, and I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. That's why I wear the shield. Justice for Mario Willis. Truth. Facts. Evidence. Matter. Log into justiceformariowillis.com. Read for yourself. Muscles, joints, or feet tired, achy, or distressed? Tried everything? Ringmaster Rubbing Oil is a vintage topical pain reliever, trusted for over 70 years, with a rich formula for the treatment of stubborn aches and pains. Packaged in a glass bottle for purity, our liquid can also be used in warm water for foot soaks and compresses. A little goes a long way. Try our time-tested formula, available in several sizes. Make a donation to WHBR-TV and receive two two-ounce bottles of Ringmaster Rubbing Oil for $25. Call 313-868-6612. WGPR Detroit HD2. You're watching WHPS, Highland Park, Detroit. Hi, this is Theo Broughton. And I am the BDM Pina. Inviting you to join us each Monday at 9 a.m. for Feedback. A positive image production by Hood Research. Encourage others to tune in each Monday on... Comcast Detroit, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, watch WHPR TV Network anywhere. And take us along with you. Feedback. With you. Thank you for staying tuned to Feedback. We have had a, a guest uh, to join, Mama Shu, and that is uh, Kwasi Akwamu. <laughs> Akwamu, okay. And um, he's having an event that's going to take place soon, and I want you to uh, share with us about the event, and then uh, Mama Shu is going to tell us about the activities that have been added to uh, Avalon Village. Yeah. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, the Shed uh, is a, a store on the east side, uh, community space, mm -hmm. outdoor space. Uh, we're part of, uh, I don't know if uh, you already know, but uh, I'm aligned with Mama Shoe and Avalon Village mm -hmm. uh, through the Liberated uh, Zone Collective that we're building out. Uh, and that's a wonderful space as well with a bunch of fabulous things taking yes. place. I'm just going to mm -hmm. up her real quick before I even get into <laughs> what I'm talking about because I aspire to mm -hmm. that kind of uh, work. Uh, anyway, the shed uh, is, a, uh, is focused and centered in culture. In our culture, uh, I'm very intentional about the, uh, the merchandise that I create because I am the creator of those uh, wares that I pedal to the community. And all of it is uh, deeply rooted in our history and culture. Uh, I try to celebrate those ancestors that uh, don't get the attention, you know, uh, from, the, you know, even some of the historians kind of shun certain personalities because they may have been too radical. But mm -hmm. those radicals pushed history, you know. Uh, a lot of the liberal gains came from, you know, the radical push. You know, mm -hmm. King got some of his push because of what Malcolm existed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It made it possible for them to say, well, my man sounds a little more reasonable to us. <laughs> so, uh, you know, he got some of the things that he achieved. And so we celebrate uh, the men and women who have the radical side of history. But we have an event coming up. Uh, been closed this winter. So uh, oh, we're yeah. reopening for uh, the season. Uh, we've been in this two-year pandemic. Yes. So people have been kind of shut in. I think uh, right. people are, you know, uh, returning to living. And mm -hmm. so, you know, we want to celebrate that and, you know, invite people out, what we call a uh, neighborhood appreciation mm -hmm. or customer appreciation. We want to bring, you know, people out just to, uh, you know, just reintroduce them to what we're doing, uh, try to engage people uh, in the community where they live, uh, mm -hmm. 
because that's where the best organizing take place. Uh, one of the philosophies uh, that kind of guide us is the uh, concept of restoring the neighbor back to the hood. And uh, from that perspective, we recognize that neighborhoods absent neighbors leave nothing but the hood. Mm-hmm. So uh, we try to put the neighbor uh, element back into it because uh, strong and safe and prosperous and healthy communities uh, begin with the people that live there. Simply, right. you know, uh, and you don't have to be rich. You don't have to be wealthy to have a safe neighborhood. You just need people that know each other and get along mm-hmm. and work together, you know. Uh, so it don't take a lot to have a, a better community and to put people on the same page. We just have to engage one another and, you know, come out of our comfort zones and get away from some of those traditions that we incur that we've picked up in this toxic society, which is the individualism that keeps us minding our own business and, you know, not working with one another on a practical level to uh, make our place, our communities a better place. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I appreciate that. Now, for those who are tuned in, tell us who is Quasi Aquamu. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> Quasi is just a, a brother out the uh, hood trying to make a neighborhood mm-hmm. uh, at the longer uh, short of it. Uh, I've been involved in uh, the community for, you know, a little over 20 years, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm still growing, still improving, uh, still, you know, looking for solutions. I'm a, a problem solver. I like to think of myself as a, uh, you know, solution-oriented person. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm rooted in self-determination. Ah. You know, uh, when they... Quasi uh, principle. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. and, and, and it's a principle of international law. Uh, mm-hmm. in, in that sense, it refers to uh, the people's right to be in control of their own destiny. Mm-hmm. And uh, from, you know, but we can practice it on a, on a low level, and then we can reach or strive towards the higher level of self-determination, which is uh, national independence or nation building. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, I'm what uh, Mama Shu was doing at Avalon Village is self-determination. She took it, you know, upon herself to do the work. Uh, and similarly, you know, that's what I'm doing uh, over there on the east side with the shed. Mm-hmm. It's practice showing people what you can do with uh, what, what we think is little to nothing and turn it into something magnificent and uh, useful to people, something that people can have pride in. I tell people all the time about repping their neighborhoods or the young people anyway, mm-hmm. that you rep your hood, make it the place that everybody envy or want to be a part of. Right. You rep it by taking care of it, keeping it clean and right. not letting other people dirty it up That's so right. you know uh so we want to make a uh, creative space where people really have pride in it and they want to really rap and be proud of being from that place mm-hmm. that's very good and you know um i have um been a customer you do beautiful t-shirts and uh, i had you to do some for me and that's for the children so uh the quality of the printing that you do needs to be shared so that those who are tuned in will know. Is there a contact number for you? Yes. Uh, I'm a, uh, let me, I didn't give all the details, but uh, mm-hmm. the shed is located at uh, 11530 Flanders. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's over there by City Airport. Uh, uh, the priest, the police precinct on Gratian and Constance, right around the corner from there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Saturday, May 14th from 12 to 6, we're going to have our uh, neighborhood and customer appreciation season reopening where we're going to have food, music, uh, yes, you know, uh, just fraternity. You know, uh, we're just going to get together. Uh, but we sell art, uh, books, and apparel. I'm a screen printer. Uh, I am a, a graphic designer as well. I created the art, you know, to sell it, you know, all the art that we celebrate, you know, uh, our, our women and our men in mm-hmm. history again you know mm-hmm. so uh that's what i am i'm a creative person i'm a scorpio uh i'm you know i'm i create you know i, I work with wood i work with you know on the computer with our um uh, screen print you know uh, i'm just acquiring skills every day mm. every day i'm learning something new and i'm trying to become better uh better mm-hmm. for us right so. right and and your contact website or phone number or what if someone uh the shed can be reached uh you probably uh the shed page on Facebook, the shed at March Park, uh, or on Instagram at the dot shed. Uh the phone number if you need to reach uh the shed, because the shed is only open on the weekend, uh okay. Saturday, uh Sun Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Mm-hmm. Uh but people are welcome to come 
through the week by appointment. Call me at 313-285-8450, and uh, we're going to make an appointment and, you know, work the scheduling out and make it happen any anytime throughout the week. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for that. Thank and you for having me. Sure. Hold oh, just a moment. I'm going to break in right here because I want to give this brother something because, Brother Quasi, I saw you had mentioned the Obama school hmm. on one of your posts. And I said, let me call Brother Quasi because uh, we working with uh, the brother over there for the Obama weekend. Mm -hmm. And James Ford. And we're going to have a big function coming up that first uh, weekend in August. Mm -hmm. So uh, I wanted to present you with a collector's item. Mm -hmm. The Obama Day. They didn't have it last year. That's so right. this is for you. Obama Day shirt. All right. All right. <laughs> we'll have Obama piece. And it's, this is coming up August 4th? Well, it's going to be uh, August 5th, I think, this weekend. The weekend. Is the weekend going yeah. on this weekend. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. This year. Right We're going to put you in touch with Brother Ford. We got to mm -hmm. get over there to holler at the principal over there, Bernard Parker, mm -hmm. and get what's going on. And, and let me give all these uh, these lovely. mother they get these ladies these Mother's Day gifts because uh, we get this in because we gotta get back with the queen mm -hmm. queen I got you this here Ooh. uh oh this is just a tablet just oh. to keep some notes oh my God you know and I then, need this this is beautiful and uh, this is yours too here this Ooh. is a book called a hundred cures natural cures because we gotta make sure you will uh -oh. <laughs> ain't gonna have the queen get sick. Thank you. <laughs> now, Miss Broke, Thank you. I'm going to tell y'all something about Miss Broke. She loves to cook. Uh -oh. She get things done. Mm -hmm. I get over there. She always, Miss Broke, you just be cooking. I got her one of these defroster plates. Oh. So when oh, she ready to defrost that okay. chicken or beef, she can get it done in a hurry. Oh, wow. We're going to get these affirmations out. Then I'm going to let you and the uh -oh. queen and the brother Quasi finish out. Mm -hmm. Queen says she wanted to do 411 as the affirmations. Uh -oh. Folks. Okay. Everybody need to get this book. You carry this book Everybody over there, Clutchy? No. I yeah. You oh, got to holler yeah. at this. I got that, too. This is, the, this is one. I met the guy about so ago, 20 man. years ago. Mm -hmm. I bought the mm -hmm. book from his brother. And I'm telling you, I bought been buying them all now. I hate to buy all this stuff on Amazon, but, man, I done bought some more on Amazon. Make sure everybody got some. But I need to, you know, we need to holler at these bookstores. <laughs> April the 11th, then we're going to take care of Quasi's birthday. Then I'm going to get out of here and let you and the queen, because queen said she has some more stuff she wanted to holler about. Oh, yes. And, uh... I said, what we got? We got 17 minutes. We good. Right. Mm -hmm. Got plenty of time here. So, let's see. The 411. Queen said, ooh, 411. Spelman College was founded on 411. Oh. Wow. In 1883. How about that? Wow. I'm telling you. Well, Spelman. goodness. Let's see. Mm. 1908. Jane M. Bowling, nation's mm -hmm. first African-American woman, George, was born in Poughkeepsie, New York on this date. She wow. was the first one. She was the first female Jer black ju judge. Je oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Talking about judges, Katanji Brown ain't mentioned Jane Bowling. Come on, Katanji. Yeah. He says, you know, oh, my God, Tony Brown. Uh, oh, know Tony Brown yeah, Journal. Yeah, right, right. The award-winning producer was born in Charleston, West Virginia. Yes, a male black uh, journal. about that? And then Roy Wilkins. Of course, he succeeded Walter White as NAACP executive director. Mm -hmm. And then on 1972, Benjamin Hooks became the first African-American to be named to the Federal Communication Commission. That's why we're on the air now, folks, because we have black folks. Ken, uh -huh. 72 on this date. On 411. 411. Wow. 411. And it's so funny. 411 is my ancestor's son, Chinyelu. He, he was killed a year ago. But dig this, though. His birthday is 411. And my daughter went to Spelman. His sister went My to Spelman, oh, right? And, right. Oh, and, oh, and now she stays in Atlanta. Oh, oh, she loves that. Isn't that something? Oh, yeah. Wow. I, just that was I was telling cool. you, this is why I love this show now. Wow. Here, uh, it, it's cosmic. The vibration just mm -hmm. beautiful. Now, what's your birthday, Brother Quasi? 11 2. 11 2. He said, I'm a Scorpio. November the 2nd. All right. <laughs> I love Scorpios. I had a good friend in Scorpio. She, you know, she was born on uh, Halloween, as a matter of fact. Oh, wow. And, uh, she's a good person, good person. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Benjamin Banneker, look at that. Oh. Quasi. Yeah. Oh, good a second. Yeah. My goodness, inventor. He, surveyor, he, right, he laid out. Astronomer, mathematician. That's right. He, almanac maker. My goodness. He almanac laid out what? Yeah, he laid out M -O -M Washington. Of, of this era. There we go. <laughs> he laid out Washington, D.C. <laughs> he laid out the plan. That's mm -hmm. like a, you know, Howard University right across from Banneker Park, folks. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there we go. How about that, love? Uh -huh. And see who was? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. On your day, November the 2nd. 
19, whew, I'm Ooh. telling you, 83. President Reagan signed the bill establishing Martin Luther King Jr.'s national holiday. Mm. We almost forget that wasn't that long ago. 83. 83. Mm -hmm. mm. That was the year I graduated. Mm -hmm. Same. Mm -mm -mm. 1993, Sharon Sales Belton was elected Minneapolis' first black mayor, female mayor, mm -hmm. on this day in 1993. And where? In uh, Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Sharon Sales Belton. So, mm. folks, that's the affirmation for this week. We'll let you ladies and gentlemen handle it from here. <laughs> got plenty of time to talk about everything going on. Queen, Miss Bro, uh, <laughs> take care. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, goodness. <laughs> we were, we were um, talking about some of the things that were happening uh, at the Avalon Village. But there are some things that have been introduced over there. Uh, share that with us. So we do have a couple of uh, additions. We have a, a STEM lab that we just finished uh, a few months ago, actually last year. Mm -hmm. It's called the MHOTEP STEM Lab, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Mm -hmm. And it is uh, ran by solar, and it is uh, heated and cooled by solar. So that's what we have. It's totally off the grid. And right now it's empty. But we did the first, which is the first phase, so it's totally finished. It's a beautiful porch. We have a beautiful mural on it of Imhotep is on the uh, the actual mural, and just some beautiful cosmic skies and everything. Mm -hmm. It's so it's, it's just so wonderful. A brother named Cameron did the um, the mural. So now we're doing a fundraiser to raise funds to be able to get computers and you know the whiteboards and just different um, STEM lab equipment. Uh, in there and it's online mm -hmm. too and you can find that um, on the website as well mm -hmm. and so uh, mm -hmm. we're raising our our goal is to raise fifty thousand dollars to be able to add what we need in there with desk different things like that mm -hmm. also administration and programs as mm -hmm. well so that's a new um, addition mm -hmm. and I told you we finished the uh, the homework house so right. the homework house is also available for events mm -hmm. it's available for um, just parties, classes, the community, it's open. We have the facility use form that's online. So you just go online and complete it. Let us know what your date is. And then, um, you know, book the date. So that's a wonderful thing that's available. Uh, I told you it's handicap accessible. We have mm -hmm. three showers. One of the showers is handicap accessible um, as well. And then we also have an addition of... Um, basketball court that we got last year mm. and it's called my three sons and uh, the basketball court is something beautiful for uh the the children to enjoy as well as older people as well because we're going to be having tournaments and things like that and um it's called my three sons because it's a tribute to my three sons uh that are ancestors right now mm -hmm. it's uh jacoby uh Chinyelu, and also my bonus son um that i got when i was he was eight years old i came into his life and he unfortunately was killed at 34. and mm -hmm. so i made the court call my three sons basketball court mm -hmm. and it is use 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 they was over there all day yesterday they <laughs> love it but they need something and it's a nice court too and one thing i believe because we had so much blight and so much taken from the community and you know it's just like the 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 swing to having nothing mm -hmm. you know my children and the people that i want to serve and how i want to serve it up to them I almost want to spoil them. My kids, they have the best things there. They have the best basketball court. We have we have vinyl tiling on it, which is good for their ankles and everything. Mm -hmm. I was like, give me the I want the best hoops, everything on there for them. And I want them to see something beautiful as their um uh, playing basketball and it also has an outline of Africa and all has has the different countries on place exactly where they're supposed to be on the mural as well so that's a, a wonderful addition to um, the village one of the top things that we got uh, actually last year uh, we celebrated a uh, getting five more street lights with Wi-Fi capabilities in the village. Mm -hmm. um, and now, uh, which helps to keep uh, neighborhoods safe. You know, we're doing a lot of children-centered things uh -huh. as well as just community. But specifically, we have a lot of things going on for the children over there. And mm -hmm. it is one thing to have the area safe. And so, um, so, so, so feeling so blessed to be able to work with Solidarity and to be able to have a campaign. It was called We Lit Avalon. And mm. so basically we raised enough money to uh, uh, install the five streetlights with Wi-Fi capabilities. Mm -hmm. We also 
uh, lit the whole block, relit the whole block. It was the first relit block in Highland Park since our lights oh, were repossessed in 2011. Wow, okay. Ten years, exact years later, we were able wow. to get some street lights, and also we were able to get more donations to to light up another area called Parker Village, and to be able to share that. So mm -hmm. they also have lights over there as well. So it was an overage. So we went past, we lit Avalon, and we went and lit another area, Parker Village, as well, uh, uh, with lights. So I'm just very proud of um, that. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud that uh, we uh, were able to work on the infrastructure thing and building a village in my mind. You know, I'm building right. the, the government of it. I'm building, you know, the order of it, how everything is ran exactly on that block, covering the economical piece, the educational piece, the health and wellness piece. Mm -hmm. We're working on our um it's called the Avalon Village Healing House, and it's on the corner, and we're going to build a cafe, the Blue Moon Cafe. But it's a space where uh, men and women, if, you ha if you're a masseuse, if you are a Reiki uh, technician, if you um, do massages, if you are a doula, those type of healing um, uh, uh, jobs and programs and stuff, you can actually rent space in the healing house and it'll operate so basically that's the village's quote-unquote hospital but it's the the holistic headquarters and uh, we have a garden down there as well so we're building we have some trees we're building an orchard it's called Jindai orchard named after a, another ancestor so a mm. lot of things on the block that we have is named uh, after and it's made for a lot of our ancestors that was just really um, wonderful and, and, and great and done beautiful things and we're into mm. community building. And so we are naming that so that we can carry on those vibrations of them. Oh, that's right wonderful. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, and I've shopped so many times at a... Well, when I first saw the shed, I just thought it was so cute. Like, look at this little <laughs> store. And I love that because what what you've done is, like you said, made something out of nothing. It was just like a little shed. And it's like, okay, we're going to mm -hmm. do this. And that's the same thing we do. Mesa, that block, nobody loved it. You could tell. And I thought you, it can't get any deader. And I love how you just made the shop into that own space, that that small space and made it happen. And now we just go to the shed and get, I got a Dinkra symbols that I have a purchase because mm -hmm. I knew that I was going to build a homework house years ago and I saved them ah. so that I can put them in the homework house. So now right. I can decorate the walls with, oh yeah, they're large size Adinkra symbols, oh, so beautiful. Wow. And I bought like several of them and I kept them nice and neat in the closet. Mm -hmm. And I just went, I said, I'm going to open up the homework house. I'm going to put these on the walls yes. and I want the children to see. Oh, so now it's time to break out yes. with that. Yep. Yes. And the last thing uh, mm -hmm. that I wanted to mention Mm -hmm. Is that it's also on the 14th of uh, May, but it's uh, from 10 to 3 o'clock. It's uh, we're building a library inside of the the homework house. So you mentioned that we don't have a library in Highland Park. So I figured that we will just build one inside of the uh, homework house on each floor. So the first floor is our um we have a studio, a music studio. So all of the musical books and things like that will go up and on that floor. The other, And then down below where I said the daycare, those will be uh, books that are centered around those ages down on that floor, on the, um, the last floor. But mm. that's what we'll be doing. We'll actually be putting it together, putting the books on the shelves. And we're just having volunteers come, music and have some food or whatever too. So, And I plan on shooting on over that way or whatever <laughs> after I finish up. <laughs> Look, my break away before it and come down there and come check you out as well. Mm, you know? That's wonderful. Now, you have uh, stated that you're over uh, at uh, Avalon Village to, it, it's, is it a vendor opportunity for you or is it something else that you're uh, doing? Uh, Keep well, talking about the collective, I think. Oh, the, oh, the yeah, collective? Oh, the collective is what we what we aim to do is build a, uh, build an alliance of uh, similar projects that's pro uh, happening around the city. Oh. Uh, uh, the Shed, uh, mm -hmm. it currently is the Shed Avalon Village, mm -hmm. Mama Cool Community House, and uh, Detroit is Difference, a lot of studio space, oh, which they're see. developing, which they do uh, the outdoor podcast with live music after, and just a, a nice, you know, just creating community space, safe, com safe spaces where people can gather around different, you know, a range of activities. Uh, I love the government concept of Avalon Village and all those different elements being, you know, the seeds of, of, 
of the bigger vision, you know, because all those elements are essential mm -hmm. for a, a truly self-determined community, mm -hmm. uh, healing ourselves, educating ourselves, right. uh, you know, uh, creating a recreation, you know, the kind yeah. of uh, activities that are useful to us. Right. So uh, that's definitely a, a model, you know, that, you know, uh, that can inspire. Because the idea is what can we do? A lot of times we look out into this world and, feel intimidated by the grandiosity of the way th people perceive things have to be. Mm -hmm. And things don't have to be so grandiose. I mean, it can grow into, you know, its, it's greatness, but it can begin humble. Yep. And the thing is, it does it have relevance uh, to the people? You do it, do, does it have value to the day-to-day -day lives mm -hmm. of the people? And uh, I contend that it does. Mm -hmm. And I think that, uh, you know, there's, you know, th we in this, period where no zero waste is a concept and you know therefore we find value in that which some people discard oh you yes. know uh, like our neighborhoods yes. you know people leave as soon as they can afford to leave uh -huh. and uh, we've had a brain drain of sorts we've had a drain of just people going to work in the morning and it, you have we have a generation of children you know from the 80s through the 90s where people who just worked in the plant greasy you know dirty workers and yeah. then they but they moved to the suburbs so you don't see people you know we grew up and a lot of children didn't just see people going to work so they kind of lost that but we got to create a sense of a healthy space where we see all these different things moving parts happening and you know we create healthy people as a result of that Three minutes, Ms. Bro. oh goodness time just just, just flies <laughs> i have uh, thoroughly enjoyed the conversation this morning with Mama Shue and, and also uh, with you, um, Quasi Aquamu. I got it, right? You do. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Did that. Now, <laughs> I want you uh, once again to give contact information for anyone who would like to come to the event and anyone who wants to have uh, their t shirts printed or t take advantage of some of the other things that you offer there? Sure. Uh Again, uh, I'm Kwasi Akwamu, uh, representing the Shed at Marsh Park. We do have uh, this uh, neighbor and customer appreciation event, free event, uh, next Saturday, uh, May 14th, from uh, noon to 6 p.m. Uh, feel free to come out. We're also offering uh, free vendor opportunities, uh, but you have to RSVP so that we can uh, know that we're not overextending ourselves. Uh, you can RSVP at uh, 313. 285-8450. Uh, again, that's Saturday, May 14th at the Shed, which is at 11530 Flanders Street between Gunton and Connor on the east side. Mm -hmm. and, and the number one last time, phone number? Uh, phone number 313-285-8450. Okay. Now, Mama Shu, yes. your contact information is needed. Our contact information mm -hmm. for the Avalon Village, uh, like I said, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter as the Avalon Village. Our website is theavalonvillage.org. That's theavalonvillage.org. My phone number is area code 567 525 8170. That's 567. 525-8170, theavalonvillage.org, that you can reach us and uh, find out all the different af activities and things that we got coming up. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, as I said at the end of the show, it's not necessary for you to know everything. What is necessary is for you to know how to find what you need when you need it. We at Hood Research Sick got to seek out as much information as we can to share with you and encourage you to share with us. That helps us all make better informed decisions. The research number is area code 248-234-2371. Again, it's area code 248-234-2371. You can Google Hood Research and find out some of the wonderful things that we are doing. And you can also join Hood Research in the meantime. And we have three broadcasts, a Monday morning broadcast, which you have just participated in, the Saturday afternoon broadcast, which has a number for you to dial in, and then a Sunday night broadcast 
on 9, 10 a.m. radio. That's for the night owls of those who want to be. Join in and tune in again next Monday morning. Peace. Feedback. Feedback. Hi, this is Theo Broughton. And I am the BDM Pina. Inviting you to join us each Monday at 9 a.m. for Feedback. A positive image production by Hood Research. Encourage others to tune in each Monday on... Comcast Detroit, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Watch WHPR TV Network, anywhere. And take us along with you. Feedback. Feedback.